Now I invite uh, Mrs. Uh, Nicole Stoltz, Secretariat of the Swiss NGO platform TRR Focal Point of Caritas Switzerland. Please, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is now the official statement by the Swiss NGO DR platform presented by Helvetia Swiss Inter Cooperation and Caritas. Distinguished Chairman, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege for the Swiss NGO DR platform to participate at the fourth global platform for disaster risk reduction and to have the opportunity to deliver an official statement. We would like to thank UNISCR and Switzerland as a host for this unique opportunity. The Swiss NGO DR platform is a network of Swiss-based non-governmental organizations dedicated to help people and organizations to prepare for and adapt to climatic trends and shocks, to more effectively mitigate risk and to enhance risk prevention in the humanitarian and development sectors. The platform was founded in 2011, consisting today of the following partners, Swiss Red Cross, Caritas, Helveta Swiss Inter Cooperation, the latter three is the core group of the platform, followed by MEDER, Swiss Solidar, HEX, Derdesome, Proact Network, Global Risk Forum, Davos, World Vision and Tier Fund. By promoting DRR through outreach into communities, the NGOs ensure the important link from policy to practical and measurable results on the ground. These results, in turn, feed back into stronger policy and better aligned strategies. Recognizing this fact, the Swiss NGO DR platform conducted a peer review in three countries, Haiti, Ethiopia and Vietnam, in order to better understand challenges and good practices at the ground and to feed in these experiences into the ongoing discussions around the current HFA and HFA 2. The following recommendations presented now are aiming for better impact of HFA at the community level. Mr. Chairman, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, we recommend to improve the priority action line one by ensuring that funding reaches the government from national to the local level and that self-organization of communities supported, especially in fragile contexts where state institutions fail to provide basic services. The recommendation for the priority action line two would be to provide support to and consider more indigenous and local monitoring on climate change. Ensure that knowledge is generated and disseminated at the local level where it's needed most. And for the recommendation of the action line three, to ensure that climate change and disaster information is systematically integrated into schools, curricula, vocational training as well, in order to raise awareness, enhance a sense of ownership and responsibility. The recommendation for the action line number four would be in each area activity uh, in each area of activity, identify and name the most important risk drivers, focus on those having most leverage and tackle the underlying power relations. For the recommendation of the action line number five is to ensure that communities and local institutions are not only strengthened before a disaster hit, but take over as well a leading role in the coordination of disaster response. For the upcoming HFA 2, the Swiss NGO DRR platform recommends to integrate the different community of climate change, adaptation, climate change mitigation, and, and DRR, and, and as well the environmental um, communities in order to have a better leverage. Focus more on the community resilience. Disaster concerns everyone, but affect the mo vulnerable most. Taking this into account, the post-HFA framework needs to put women, men, children at the center of at attention and action, with a special focus on strengthening resilience of people living in informal settlements and those communities in fragile and conflict-affected situations. It needs to be set more clear targets and measurable indicators. Self-reporting was this actually the case for the HFA, should be complemented by monitoring of external monitoring by civil society organization. 
identify risk drivers and connect them with power relations. Knowing the risk by assessing hazards and vulnerabilities allows for more active risk management, but may not be good enough to tackle the underlying causes for ever-increasing risk. Identifying risk drivers and connecting them with power relations, for example, in unpliced urbanization and degraded ecosystem by power holder contributes to further marginalization and exposure of vulnerable households. Distinguished Chairman, distinguished delegates, looking forward, we want to emphasize the commitment at the international level. The Swiss NGODR platform, with support from the UN Special Rapporteur on Rights to Food, Oliver de Schutter, we are about to develop an international ranking system allowing to rank countries on the basis of the quality of strategies they have in place to address disasters and their outcomes. The human rights-based approach will be the starting point for elaborating such a system. We are convinced that more targeted, efficient indicators are necessary to create incentives and trigger more commitment at the ground. Thank you very much.